Hi, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Today I got this dog chewed up USB Bluetooth dongle uh, that I have here. As you can see, it's pretty much chewed up. The case is broken, USB port and tip is broken. But you know, best you know, usually people will just buy another one. But you know, since it's still a good board, and all you have to do is replace the port to get it work. I just wanted to show you how it can be done pulling from other parts so rather than just having this good um, board go waste um, as you can see the board is still intact just the end tip of the USB port is just chewed up so it does just not, it just does not go into the uh, computer port so um, you just have to find another donor board like this right here and usually it's the same design and we just have to pull that and replace it and it should be good to go so um, just wanted to show you how it can be done rather than just buying another uh, unit and this actually can be applied to any other USB port like a flash drive and whatever if you need to recover data from a USB flash as long as the flash itself is not damaged if it's just a simply broken USB port you can always get the uh, data out and I also have the board working so uh, I'll show you how to do it. So we have this um, the broken port um, on our workbench and we need to remove that and a lot of times people will just use a heat to melt the solder and get the thing off but a lot of times uh, he can damage the uh, board and you just don't want that to happen when you're working on it so what I do is I use a low melt solder to loosen the port and just uh, incredibly it is pretty easy enough to just pull it off so if you use a low melt solder which is like melt at 130, 140 degrees and and it takes time to get hardened so when it's kind of like liquidy and uh, that's the time you pull it so what I'm doing right now is to apply that the um, low melt solder and just giving a little gentle heat over it and you can see it's kind of like a lot there and if you just wait too long it just hardens up again but if you just continuously apply some heat um, it just loses loosens the um, the hardness so it just it will just pop right off and it, this is like the way to do it Okay, I'm just keep on applying the heat and I can feel it's moving as you can see the part part is moving off already it's kind of wiggling yep it just comes right off so I'm not breaking any pad or damaging the board so that's how I get this USB port off that so what I have to do now is just clean the part to put the new port on there Okay, after the uh, wicking it, cleaning it, and now you can see the solder has been removed and it's pretty clean, so there's clear hole there for that USB port to, to sit on and get connected. So after that, it's just we just have to pull the uh, another one, good one, a uh, uh, good port from another donor board and replace it.
Okay, this is pretty simple process. The same thing as uh, removing the broken ones. Just make sure you don't bend the pen or damage the USB port while doing it. Um, same thing using a lower solder melt and on either side loosen the anchor and it feels pretty straightforward. Okay, now the uh, port is off from the donor board and you just have to clean that up a little bit and put that on there to the, uh, the board that needs it.
Right, I got the USB port on it, but as you can see, it's not level. Um, it, it's raised up a little bit, so you don't want that. So uh, you can either try to like melt it, but it's pretty hard. So what I did, I use just a light heat around there just to soften the solder until it kind of gives in, so it becomes level. So uh, I'm just applying maybe like 310 degree heat gently, so I don't want to disturb any other components. Um, just enough because. You just don't want that to happen, it'll be a headache. So just give it just enough heat and keep on tapping it until you, you feel that the uh, solder is just softens up for that uh, USB port to kind of like cave down a little bit. You don't want to do it too much, so you know, you know it, as you can see, it kind of goes in. So I'm right, right there, I'm just holding it until it, it gets hardened again. And then you can see now it's like perfectly level which is the uh, way how you want it. So after that you kind of clean that up, uh, make sure the joints are good, then it's time for test. Okay, we have the dongle ready, and we're gonna just pop that into our computer and see if that gets recognized. You can see it's pretty uh, sturdy. And once the uh, computer recognizes it, you can see the uh, light flashing. And the computer sees that as a uh, Bluetooth dongle. So, um, well, that's how you do it. So, uh, you can definitely just pull the port from the other uh, donor board and fix it when it's broken like this. Thanks for watching.